start making some popcorn because by the time you finish watching this video, you'll be hooked on at least two of these amazing series. Ready to see the best of the best Netflix has released? Top 10 Best Netflix Series Number 10. Shadow and Bone Based on the book with the same name, Shadow and Bone premiered on April 23, 2021. It belongs to the young adult fantasy adventure genre, but even if you aren't a fan of this type of series, you'll love this one. Hear me out. The world of Shadow and Bone is divided by a barrier of darkness inhabited by monstrous creatures. However, a young girl has discovered that she has the power of light, which can destroy the darkness, but the problem isn't solved. She must still learn to control her power and escape dangerous enemies who don't want the darkness to end. It has an 88% score on Rotten Tomatoes, but if you think the critics have boring metrics, it also got an 89% from the audience. Woohoo! Plus, it stars Jessie May, an actress who rose to fame thanks to the theater, and Archie Renault, who you'll see in the Marvel movie Morbius. I assure you this series will enthrall you from the first episode. Number 9. Pretend it's a city. Ready to watch something deeper? If not, get out of here. This is a social critique full of intellectual humor by Fran Lebowitz and Martin Scorsese. What's it about? Well, in each episode, Fran talks about everything she likes, but especially what she doesn't like, about New York City. Have you ever thought about how wild the city you live in can be? People bumping into you, not walking in the crosswalk, you can't even stop for a smoke because someone's already asking you for directions? Fran Lebowitz's point of view is unique. It'll inspire you to get out of your house and see your city differently, unless you live in New York, in which case it'll make you want to move. With a 91% score from Rotten Tomatoes and 75% from the audience, this is pure culture and humor. Number 8. Sky Roho. Now get ready for peak intensity since Sky Roho will make you feel danger and tension at all times. Three prostitutes attacked their pimp because he mistreated them and decided to flee thinking they had killed him. However, now they have to live with eyes on the back of their heads as the mafia is after them and to make matters worse, their ex-pimp is still alive. This series will make you jump out of your seat every five minutes, so don't get too comfy. It sits at 92% on Rotten Tomatoes, and the audience gave it a 75%. The cast includes Veronica Sanchez, Lali Esposito, Yanni Prado, and the great Miguel Angel Silvestre, who you've seen in Money Heist, Sense8, and Narcos. So, phew, this series is really promising if you like bullets and street violence. An astonishing series, and the top has just begun, so stay tuned. Number 7. Tribes of Europa Produced by the same people who made the highly successful series Dark, this new German production brings you a quite innovative apocalyptic world concept. In the year 2029, technology stopped working, sending the world back to the Middle Ages. So in the year 2074, the European countries have ceased to exist, and humanity lives in tribes constantly fighting over territory. Amid all this disaster, some siblings have found a mysterious cube that seems to be very important for some tribal leaders, and they'll be persecuted for it. Oliver Masucci is part of the cast, an actor you've surely seen in the series Dark, as well as actress Henriette Confurious, who's also quite well known in Europe. Tribes of Europa has a 92% score on Rotten Tomatoes and 78% from the audience, making it immediately something worth exploring. Number 6. Squid Game Over 111 million views in its first 17 days! That's crazy! It's also disturbing that so many people like this kind of stuff. What's it about? Tuh. If you live on this planet, you already know more or less what the plot is. Anyway, here's a super synopsis. A group of people whose lives are ruined due to rather serious financial problems have been gathered on an island where they'll participate in several deadly games in the hope of winning a big cash prize. And yes, the deaths are very violent. Squid Game has a 92% score on Rotten Tomatoes and 85% from the audience. This series came to break it in 2021. I can't tell you much about the cast as they aren't well known on this side of the world, but there are still some mentions. It stars Lee Jung Jae, a very famous actor in South Korea with many movies and series to his credit. And there's also Gong Yoo from Train to Busan. Number 5. Waffles and Mochi If you enjoy cooking, get ready! 
At first glance, it looks like just a puppet show for kids. Well, yes and no. For starters, Waffles and Mochi was produced by the same people who made Chef's Table and Ugly. Although the plot is about two very nice puppets called Waffle and Mochi who want to become chefs, it's actually a journey exploring the gastronomy of different countries such as Peru, Italy, Japan, and many more. It's hosted by Michelle Obama herself and features appearances by several of your favorite stars. Did you like Stranger Things? Well, Gaten Matarazzo appears in this series. Do you like comedy movies? The Great Jack Black is here too. If you want to know what other guests they're hiding, you'll have to watch the series. What I can tell you is that Rotten Tomatoes gave it a 95% score, and the audience loved it with a 75% score. Add it to your list, or Mochi, who is literally around Mochi, will be sad. Waffles and Mochi. Number 4. Lupin. Do you like series with elegant settings full of mystery and works of art? Then, Lupin is the series for you. Before telling you what it's all about, you need to know it has a 97% score from Rotten Tomatoes critics and 77% from the audience. Now, the story is about a guy named Asane, whose father worked for a rich guy named Pellegrini. This rich man falsely accused Asane's father of stealing a very valuable necklace, for which he ended up in prison and committed suicide in jail. Asane knows everything. So, as an adult, he wants to take revenge by stealing Pellegrini's necklace and exposing a series of crimes he has committed. It stars Omar Sy, a French actor quite well known in Europe who, if his name doesn't ring a bell, is the one who appeared in Jurassic World. Number 3. Made. Put fiction and non-stop action aside for a moment, Made is a story that will get you to the core. It's frighteningly real. It tells the drama of a young single mother who must make ends meet by working as a cleaner to survive since she ran away from her husband, who was too violent. After watching Made, you'll know a side of life that will make you realize that sitting and binging on Netflix is paradise because there are people who just want to have a place to spend the night and start from scratch. It got a 97% score on Rotten Tomatoes and the audience gave it an 86. Made stars Margaret Qualley, who played Pussycat in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. You can rest assured that sitting down to watch this series is one of the best decisions you can make with a remote control or phone in your hands. Number 2. Sweet Tooth. What could possibly beat realistic drama, sci-fi, and non-stop action? Well, nothing. So let's mix it all into one series. Surely that's what Robert Downey Jr. thought when he decided to produce Sweet Tooth. This series is based on a DC comic book, which makes it even more interesting that Iron Man himself produced it. Sweet Tooth is about a world where children with animal features have been born. There are people who despise these children and want to eliminate them. That's precisely when Gus appears, a little boy with deer antlers who just wants to be happy and survive. This series scored 98% on Rotten Tomatoes and 88% from the audience, making it perhaps the best thing Netflix has ever done. Do you agree? Let me know in the comments. Popcorn should be ready by now, and if you've already picked the series you'll start watching, you might want to add this one too because it's really good and kinda different. Number 1. Amen. The Fight for America. Rotten Tomatoes gave this series a perfect score, 100%, and the audience an 85%. What exactly is Amen? The Fight for America? Hosted by Will Smith and featuring big stars like Samuel L. Jackson, this documentary series is more of a social reflection. What is it to be a citizen in the United States? This is difficult to answer even today since there's so much injustice and inequality in society. Now, imagine what it was like to ask yourself the same question 300 years ago. Amend, The Fight for America, explores historical and biographical passages of different well-known figures, where you can witness and explore the gray side of the American dream. You may not like documentary series, but due to its good pace, production quality, and harmonious message, this one will leave a mark on you beyond just entertaining you for a while. Quite simply, the best Netflix has to offer. I'm watching Sky Rojo and Sweet Tooth. Which ones did you choose? Tell me in the comments and also like this video and subscribe so you can help me make more content like this. Here are two more options. See you next time.